kid from uh, uh, Toledo um, sitting on a draft weekend waiting for the phone ring. Is that what your draft was like back oh, in the man. day? Oh, man. That was... What was your draft like? I knew my phone wasn't going to ring. You but did. you know what's funny is when you play college football, it doesn't matter how realistic you realize your phone is not going to ring at all. Mm -hmm. You still watch the draft and you're like, but what if they call? Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, because you believe that these teams are truly lifting every stone. Right. Like the movies tell you. And there's somebody in the back of a war room that says, nah, man, I believe in this kid. Yeah. You know, even if it's a small percentage, that's that's what it's like. Right. So, um, and you went through, didn't hear any calls. And that's is that when the CFL called you, the Montreal's, where you had to go win a couple of great cups before yeah, the well, NFL knocked on your not door? Not quite. Or? So I, I, my career yards in college, I think, was 632. Over all four seasons. That's it. That's it. So 632 yards. Right. And I was 5'7 and 160 pounds. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I, I was realistic about it. Um, but again, I'm like, well, maybe I'll get a tryout. I was training. I was like, I did. I had a really good pro day, yeah. even though I faked my height. Um, How does one fake height? Well, I went to Michael's, um, a craft store, <laughs> and I molded clay that looked the same color as my skin, like the back of the heel, and then I taped my ankles over it, so it gave me like an inch and a half on pro day. <laughs> what? <laughs> True story. This is amazing. Um, like I had to like bake the 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 clay and everything because it's soft, and then it, to get it to harden, you had like put it in a kiln. Yeah, yeah. And so prior to pro day. Yep. And so I walked in, measured at you know five eight. Great. Um, I was like a little <laughs> over five eight. I weighed in one eighty two because I had weights in my pocket. Um, <laughs> And I ran a 4-3, and I'm like, well, maybe. Just looking at the numbers, it was like, okay, maybe. So what happened was I ended up getting a tryout with the Browns because one of my old coaches actually became a DB coach there. Yeah. But on draft day specifically, I was over at my friend's house, um, and he was roommates with Brett Kern, who was one of the you know best punters of the last you know two decades. Yeah. Um, and he was there with his family watching because he actually had a chance to be drafted uh, and so I watched their whole process, which was, you know, they're hoping late in the, you know, punters go late. And then the Broncos called and a bunch of teams started calling them. And his family like, well, what are you going to do after, after college? Like, do you have a job lined up? And I'm like, ah, you know, I'm figuring it out. But it was very clear. Like I wasn't an NFL prospect. Did you run a four, three in the clay shoes? I did not So what happens is they measure you in after I get the height, yeah. I cut the tape off, throw it away. And then I go, Brilliant. go perform. Brilliant. Yeah. That's Brilliant. amazing. Wow. So when did the NFL finally call you? When you were in Montreal? Uh, like four years later. Really? Yeah. So I like, I left college. I didn't leave college. I stayed in college and I coached receivers that mm -hmm. season. I went and yeah. scouted with the Detroit Lions. Yes. Um, and then I did a reality show with our good friend, Michael Irvin. That's right. Uh, fourth mm -hmm. and long. That's right. And so I left coaching to go do that show. Yeah. I should have won. Mike will... Will attest. He'll attest to that. Okay. But he, he couldn't convince them to pick a five, uh, six receiver from a reality show to go to the Cowboys. But from that, I got my CFL contract. And then I went and played in Canada the next two seasons. Yeah. And in year four after college, I finally got a tryout in the NFL. And then I played the next seven years. So you would counsel guys that don't hear your name this, this in, a, in a couple of weeks. Just hang tight. Hey, keep at it, man. You know? Yeah. That's it. That's all, <laughs> that's all, you, can, that's all you can do. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.